Hi, this is Adam from Makerstate, and right now we're going to go through people programming challenge number two. This is called Drawing Machine, and in this challenge we're going to explore how a computer interprets an image and represents it as numbers or code. One concept that's really important to this challenge is the concept of X and Y coordinates. X and Y coordinates allow us to define an object's precise location on a grid. The X coordinate tells us how far left or right an object is on a grid, and the Y coordinate tells us how far up and down an object is on a grid. Generally, moving to the right will cause a positive change in X, moving to the left will cause a negative change in X, moving up will cause a positive change in Y, and moving down will cause a negative change in y. So if we're to plot a point on our grid, we can use our number system to see what the x and y coordinates of this point are. So we see that we're three spaces over and two spaces up. So we would list this point as 3 comma 2. We always write x coordinates first when dealing with x and y coordinate pairs. To practice using x and y coordinate pairs, we're going to create a piece of pixel art and then create a bitmap or a list of x and y coordinate pairs to try to describe the pixel art design that we've made. So you may first want to take a piece of scrap paper and plan Remember out to keep your design simple art you'd like to make. as we're working on a small grid and you will only have two colors available to you to complete your design. When you're finished sketching your design, you can then plan on your final grid, again, starting first with pencil. I like to first draw the image more or less the same way I drew it the first time, and then afterwards I can figure out how I'm going to turn it into a shape that fits nicely within these blocks on this grid. So once, once I'm done blocking it out, then I'm ready to take my markers and shade in my boxes. Starting with one color, and then the other color. Once you're done creating your pixel art design, it's now time to gather the data of the pixels we shaded on our bitmap. Again, a bitmap is just a list of x and y coordinates. We'll also be adding a c value to represent the color of the pixels that you've shaded. On the top of the chart, fill in the C values for 1 and 2 with the colors that you're using so that the person decoding your bitmap knows what colors you used. Now you're ready to trade bitmaps with another classmate to see if you can recreate each other's pixel art designs. Have fun!